So egg freezing generally takes about two weeks in total. It involves taking injectable medications, usually twice a day. Um, these are subcutaneous injections, so they're very superficial. They are usually anywhere on the abdomen, um, right under the skin into the superficial fat layer. And this is done for eight to 10 days um, in an effort to try to get as many of the eggs to grow and be stimulated. During the eight to 10 days of injections, um, you are coming in for frequent visits um, every two to three mornings at the outset and then perhaps for a few consecutive days near the tail end of that period of time. And those visits consist of an ultrasound and blood work to gauge your response to treatment. And we may add or cut back medications during that time. And once we see an ideal response, at that point, we're going to tell you to stop taking all of your medications and we'll be taking you for an egg retrieval. The egg retrieval process takes about five to 10 minutes. And the reason why it's so fast is because it's a fairly simple procedure. It's minimally invasive, meaning it doesn't involve any incisions on your abdomen. We use very light sedation that is administered by an anesthesiologist. These egg retrievals happen seven days a week. They are performed using an ultrasound probe and a long thin needle that's passed through the vaginal wall directly into the adjacent ovary. We drain every single follicle or fluid filled space that contains an egg floating inside of it. And that's how we access the eggs on both sides, on both ovaries. Once we have all of the eggs, we evaluate them under the microscope. In the meantime, you're going to the recovery room. You'll wake up immediately after the procedure's over and you'll go home that same day. In the, in, and while we're in the lab, we're looking at the eggs under the microscope and evaluating them for their maturity. And any of the eggs that are mature will be frozen for future use.